mom away from mom and today we're gonna make fudge. So excited to share this recipe with you. It's one of my favorite things to make. It's one of my favorite things to eat and it's gonna be delicious. Just like grandma used to make. I'm gonna teach you about the soft ball method, how to tell if your fudge is done without using a candy thermometer. Let's get started. This parchment paper has been buttered and salted. People like the saltiness because it really brings out the flavor. What I find is that if I put butter and then a little bit of salt on the bottom, then the first bite that people put in their mouth, they get that umami sensation. If you're gonna want a large stock pot, I'll put it on high. We're gonna need two sticks of butter, four cups of sugar, one full can of evaporated milk. We're gonna keep that cooking on high. This is gonna melt together, and then it's gonna start boiling. Stir it every so often, and we let it melt together. Once we reach the softball stage, I'm going to remove it from the heat, and I'm going to pour in one bag of dark chocolate chips, one bag of marshmallows, a little bit of maple extract, a little bit of vanilla extract. If you've seen my Kitchen Ninjas video, you know all about smoked paprika. I'm gonna add just a little smoked paprika to really liven up those flavors and make my mouth happy. And now I'm gonna move the tripod so that you can see what's going on in here. All right, so it's boiling right away. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. That butter is almost all melted. When you're making fudge, you always want to scrape the sides. You can see little bubbles starting to come up. Now these bubbles are gonna get bigger and thicker. It will go more slowly. You'll see it start to caramelize. The color will change. Mm, see, it's boiling faster and bigger bubbles are coming up along with the little bubbles. Stir it a little so that it's not sticking to the bottom. We don't want it to burn. You can burn sugar. So I can always already smell a little bit of that caramelization that happens when you cook milk and sugar and butter together. It's so delicious. Again, I'm just scraping the bottom to make sure that nothing is getting burnt or stuck. Okay, so a soft ball stage is achieved when you drop a little bit of the hot fudge into cold water and it forms a soft ball that you can pick up with your fingers and pull out. Now I know, because I make a lot of fudge, that we're, we're getting closer, but we're nowhere near there. And I can tell that because this is still kind of shiny. There's still like a sheen on it. There's lots more smaller bubbles coming up. The color, the, the consistency, you'll want it to get a lot thicker than this. It should look a lot more like tar or honey. Not dark, 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 but that viscosity. See, I find this very mesmerizing. You see when the holes start to open up like little pits, and then you'll see that through the creases, it will be darker and more matte, less glossy. Actually like between five and 10 minutes of boiling once it really starts to boil rapidly. Now we're getting closer. They've got mostly bigger bubbles. They're kind of opening up as little pits. You can see that some of the gloss is going away in the middle. It's definitely more viscous. It's not there yet though. and I'll prove it to you. I'm gonna take a little bit of the hot, I'm gonna put it, see I dropped it in there. Now what you want is to be able to kind of put all of that together and pick it up. It's almost there, but not quite, see? So you can see that it's much more viscous and you can see that it's boiling more slowly. I 
Okay, now when I stir it, um, a lot more of it comes up because it's acting more like a unit. That's when I think, okay, it might be ready for that soft ball stage. So I'm going to drop a little in. Oh, it balled right up. We're ready. See, it slowly flattens, but it, it stays in the ball shape when I pull it out. Once it gets to the soft ball stage, we remove it from the heat, and we're adding all of those chocolate chips. We're going to stir really fast at this moment, because we want those all to melt and dissolve and become fully incorporated. And we're going to put in the marshmallows, which, remember, have that maple and vanilla flavoring in them. There's always a moment of panic when I first add the marshmallows. I'm like, that's not what it's supposed to look like. And just keep stirring. It's hard on the shoulder, but good for the soul. Just waiting for those last little holdout marshmallows to melt, and you can see it's gorgeous. It's looking like wonderfully delicious fudge right now. All right, no more little marshmallows. Into our prepared pan with our buttered and salted parchment paper. Oh, look how beautifully clean that came out. That's almost a bummer because I get to eat whatever sticks in the pan. I'm just going to kind of encourage those corners to go down all the way. All right. This we sit aside until it cools. You can tell it's good fudge because it's already starting to sit up. Mm. That's good stuff.